Alrighty guys, today we're gonna learn how to install OSX Mavericks either on your hard drive or a virtual machine. I'm gonna do a virtual machine. However, you can follow the steps that I do for the most part and it'll work either way. So if you're gonna do a native install, what you want to do is go to computer, right click on your USB drive format, I use default settings and then click start. Okay, now you want to go to Transmac. Right click on your USB stick and then click restore with disk image. You have to run Transmac with admin privileges. So you want to restore, you want to pick your DMG, and then click OK. That'll take a little while. Once it's all done, you can reboot your computer and boot from there. Now let's load up VMware. Now what you want to do, file, new virtual machine. Now it's pretty much, well actually no, we'll do it in VirtualBox. Okay. Well that's a bummer, let's use VMware. Because I know it'll work on VMware. I installed it on VMware once. Um... Pick the ISO. You know, that, that error comes up, it doesn't know it's Mac OS X. Um, we could do other. No, not other. Oof. I guess Linux, because it's on a Unix based. Whatever. And then just OS X. Next, crank this up to 25. Customize hardware. We're going to crank the RAM up. 4 gigs and click finish so now you wanna power up the virtual machine and then boot with the same ones as VirtualBox, I don't know why VirtualBox doesn't work but MDFX V And that'll go through all of its whatever booting processes. This will take a little bit. You know, I know on virtual or VMware, you know, it'll take a long time. So, I'll come back. Alrighty, guys. So, it booted up just fine. You know, so you can follow what I do for you know if you're doing a native install or whatever so what you want to do is click next and then go up to utilities and you want to go to disk utility and click on your hard drive You want to create one partition. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Macintosh. Make sure you leave it as OS, ex OS Extended Journaled. Then click Apply. make this full screen. Okay, once that's done, you can go ahead and exit out of it and then click continue. Click agree. Now what you do want to do is click on the uh, Macintosh hard drive and then click customize. Now, you don't need to mess with anything, at least I didn't. 
for uh, a native install on my system. However, if you're going to do VMware, we need to do VMware Virtual Machine. Fix that. And then... I believe that's it. Rest of the stuff is okay to have. Now click OK. And then click install. Now this is going to take a pretty long time. You know, that'd be like maybe like 30 minutes, 45 minutes at least. So I'll come back once it's done. So yeah, I was about right, 45 minutes or so. So now it's going to boot up in the OS X. Now what I needed to do since I had a since I have a USB keyboard and mouse, I had to type in USB bus fix equals yes. <clears throat> and that got my mouse and stuff working just fine on the native install. But for the VirtualBox or VMware install, the mouse is a little bit weird. I don't know if it's fixed, but you know, we'll we'll see. Hopefully, it is. Now this will take a little while. For the first boot. Hopefully it won't take a long time. Well I guess I'll cut it until it boots up. Alrighty so it booted up but I do have that mouse problem. I'll show you right here. You know it, it just isn't usable in VMware. Maybe there's some kind of setting that I have to do. Make it use like an older VMware workstation <coughs> version or something. But hopefully you got your Mavericks booted up on your AMD system. Hopefully this helps. Or you know if you're doing a VMware install. Hopefully you won't have the same mouse problem as I do. You know, maybe I could try and find a fix and make another video to see if I could actually, you know, get it to work. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed.